My name's Catherine. Um, and about eight months ago, I had stem cell therapy on my hip. I was sitting through the days, um, not being able to do pretty much anything. I had um, deteriorated. First of all, I had, I had a fall about um, eight years ago down the steps, which started this kind of thing happening. Um, and I, it was a gradual deterioration. Um, I went to Scotland in 2017 and can barely walk around. Like I had, I had, like, I couldn't go on a lot of the excursions. I couldn't go with the group of people I was going with because they were climbing mountains, doing things. I couldn't do any of that. Um, and I, every step was kind of agony. In fact, I, I ended up buying a cane in Scotland um, it had, that was foldable because I just, I, I got to one store and I, I just couldn't even walk anymore and bought a cane. Um, and then I used that cane, came back, well, went through some physical therapy and, um, made things a little bit better, but things kept on going downhill. I would get cortisone shots, physical therapy, but all in all, things just kept on going downhill. And then finally last year, it was 2020, and I couldn't see a, a physician because of COVID, and things got very bad. I couldn't walk up my steps anymore. I was doing a lot of going up on my butt. Um, uh, there was It was just generally excruciating, just plain excruciating every day. Um, I was trying all kinds of drugs. I was trying ibuprofen. I just couldn't even take it anymore because it was making me just my stomach. I couldn't take it anymore. It was like really making my stomach upset. Um, so then I finally went in when COVID lifted a bit, went in to see, a, um, to see what could be done. And a surgeon said they could take me in the next week to have a hip replacement. And I was like, uh, wait a minute. Um, so I went home and did this thing. Um, I was like a, a questionnaire, of like, you know, should you get a hip replacement? Um, and I answered that questionnaire and like said, well, this questionnaire is telling me I really shouldn't get a hip replacement. It's not what I'm looking for because after the hip replacement, there's a lot of things you can't do like cross your legs. And I just said to myself, wait a minute, I'm going to get a hip replacement. And I still won't be able to do the things that I want to be able to do after I get this hip replacement. And I'm going to be out of work for a quite a bit of time and I own my own business and that wasn't an option. So um, I started looking on the internet and I found a couple of doctors in Florida and Texas who were able to do stem cell therapy. And I didn't really want to take those, the trips to Florida, even though I love Florida. Um, I wanted to find someone local. So I started searching in the Boston area. I found Dr. Pearl. Um, I went in in October. Um, I went in on a Thursday because I was trying to minimize my downtime. So um, I was on Oxy for you know, maybe like a day, two. I mean, by Sunday, I was feeling fabulous. And by Monday, I was working. So um, really low downtime. Um, and then I started physical therapy. And um, I had a lot of physical therapy because I had been going downhill for years. And so um, I had gotten to this thing of um, what they call the severe limp. Um, and I would drag my leg along. And it, and all my muscles had adapted to, to that way of being. And when I went into the surgeon, the way that they said, well, they determined that I needed a hip replacement was they tried to turn my, tried to turn my leg, um, by like trying to turn it and it wouldn't turn at all. And so, and so, and, but what was happening is, is that those muscles weren't being used at all during that time. So, um, a lot of what I've gone through now is I still exercise a lot. And if anybody's thinking about doing this, I really suggest you get a Pilates reformer. I found one on eBay for 400 bucks. Um, and it's really great because it allows you to isolate what you need to isolate and work on it. Um, so, but I had a lot of, muscles that hadn't been moved in ages. Um, and so it, it's, it was really, really hard for me, but now I could do lots of stuff. Um, I now can walk, I could walk down the stairs without holding onto anything and I go quickly. Um, I could walk up the steps. Um, if I'm holding, I could I most of the time hold onto a banister. I've gone up a few steps without a banister. Um, if I'm carrying something, which is still like my downfall, holding, carrying weights is hard for me yet. Um, if I go, but, but I could, but I, my ability to move is great. This past weekend, I got on my bicycle for the first time and I know how long it was because I, it took me a long time to find my helmet. It was like, okay, where is my helmet? It took me ages to find my helmet. When I found my helmet, I found a receipt from 2016 inside the helmet. So I know that it was at least 2016 since I rode my bike and I'm someone who, well, I, you know, I'm 65 now, but there was a time when I bicycled a lot. I, I actually didn't drive a I wasn't using, I didn't own a car till I was 27 because I didn't, couldn't afford it. So I biked everywhere. And I was a person who could bicycle a hundred miles. And, and before I fell off the, 
fell down the steps, I was bicycling to Ayer and Ayer from my place is 25 miles round trip. So I was, I was able to bicycle that much when, you know, when I was hitting my sixties. So I still was able to was mobile. Um, but, um, but now, so I did three miles on the weekend, first time on a bike in that long time. Um, I hope to expand, you know, keep on going further and further. So shopping was hell because, you know, you, I'd be looking around for a parking spot. The first thing I would do is grab a cart because that way I could hang onto the cart and like get into the store and shop. Um, and then get out. But but now I don't need I don't need a cart. I walk in. I'm fine. I don't need a cane. I walk all around. I do the shop all the shopping I want to do um, without any without any assistance at all. And I've lost nine pounds. Just you know, just <laughs> just moving faster. And the other thing is like a lot of my friends say like I really look great. Um, and I and and it, and that, it's like I I really had don't look. I really look different because I realized like all the time that I was uh, like kind of holding my face, like in a, the pain was making my face kind of like get wrinkled. Um, so, um, so anyway, I, I kind of think the whole treatment was a beauty treatment. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm very pleased with the results and I do it again. Um, in fact, if, if, if I end up wearing out my hip again, I would do it again rather than get a hip replacement because I just feel like my mobility is better than it would be if I'd gotten a hip replacement. Mm-hmm. Um, and certainly recovery time was much faster.